ongoing voter registration exercise and their concerns about the fact that they are padding figures, you know, from the various districts. And the NDC has been on this, accusing the EC of padding figures. Well, yesterday we heard from the EC who said, who has agreed that in the Shanti region, for instance, there were some anomalies which have been resolved and that is because the officers were not filing daily reports. They were actually putting all the reports together and that's how come they are reporting more figures than what is being recorded in the various districts. Now, my colleague uh, Evans Inkum is currently in the Shanti region and he brings us reports on and, and updates on what is happening with regards uh, that very particular situation in the Shanti region. Let's take a look. So he will be speaking, uh, he tells us that he will be speaking to uh, the Ashanti Regional Secretary of the NDC. Don't forget that they have been on the tail of the EC for, you know, uh, looking at figures, their, their concerns about figures that are not accurate. So my colleague Evans Inkum currently is in the Ashanti region and brings us the update. It's a number of issues. Of course, the Electoral Commission has also admitted the discrepancies from some um, districts in the Ashanti region. But we also know that yesterday the numbers were updated. I will be speaking with the Ashanti Regional Secretary of the National Democratic Congress to find out from him if they have received the updated report from the Electoral Commission. Also, Dennis Kwakwa is also the Ashanti Regional Youth Organizer of the ruling New Patriotic Party. But let me speak with Dennis Kwakwa. Um, Kwame Zhu will join me pretty soon. So Dennis um, will join me because they have also been going around just to also find out from the perspective of the, the New Patriotic Party if they've also come across uh, some of these anomalies. So Dennis, I thank you so much for your time. Uh, NDC raised a number of issues recently, and of course the Electoral Commission admitted the discrepancies. You have been going around. Have you also come across any of the ano any anomalies? Thank you, my brother. Let me say good morning to your viewers. I believe uh, what the NDC has been alluding to basically has uh, no merit. In uh, you are saying no merit, but the EC has admitted that there were discrepancies. It, it, doesn't, it doesn't mean that people are deliberately doing something to mar the integrity of the process. I think what the EC has come out to say is that they are uh, district officers as opposed to input daily registration data. So that means that if yesterday they did 100, they have to input 100. But in some districts, the district officers rather were doing uh, accumulated inputting. So if they did 100 yesterday and they do 100 today, 200. Tomorrow if they do 100, instead of inputting 100, then they do 300. And that, and that was wrong. Yeah, yeah, that's wrong. But I, I don't think that was deliberate. <laughs> it's just a matter of misunderstanding. If in 2013... Would you have taken it kindly if, the, if you were to be in the position of the NDC? Nobody is in any position. In 2013, we went to the Supreme Court to banter over an election. And then what the EC, the same uh, EC that they want to commend in 2013, uh, headed by Dr. Ferijan, to the whole Ghana was that they, some of the errors that they committed were just computational errors, transpositional errors. And so I believe this is nothing that anybody should just make a case out of. The point that I am trying to say is that uh, it's a process. Whether we like it or not, because it's managed by humans, we could come to a time that maybe some of these errors may occur. But look at this. You go to the registration center, we register you at the close of day. Every party agent over there is giving a close of day report. That will tell you that these are the number of people who registered in a day. These are the people that are in the system. It's the reason why the NDC could come out and say that the figures were wrong. Because originally, they had been given a report that could tell them actually people who have been registered. And so nobody, in fact, the numbers that they talk about uh, haven't been added. They not correspond to the system data. It was just a computation uh, error that they had done because if you went into the EC system, the names that were there were amounted to 399,000. But because they were just taking uh, raw data from their uh, district officers to say, we registered 100, we registered 200, that was the reason why they, they made the error. And that wouldn't have in any way given anybody opportunity. Somebody who had not been registered genuinely at the police station 
couldn't have been in the system on election day. All right, so but Dennis Kokka, well, I thank you so much for your time. But let me speak to uh, Kwame Zhu, who is the uh, Ashanti Regional Secretary of the uh, National Democratic Congress. Of course, he raised the issue uh, two days ago during a, a press conference. Uh, so Kwame, we know that, of course, I was with the Electoral Commission yesterday, and I was told that the updated report was going to be given to you. I saw your party's uh, 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 man in charge of elections and research. Do you have the updated report? Yes. Thankfully, after our press conference on Tuesday, the 14th of July, subsequently the following day, the Electoral Commission confirmed that the figures indeed were bloated, except to add that they were entered in error. So yesterday I dispatched my Director of Elections to the office and he was able to take delivery of the so-called updated figure and that has been delivered duly to my office and we are steady in seeing. Okay, so what, what are the differences? We know that um, the first report that came out had an excess of over 400,000. Um, what do we know now? Uh, initially, the figure they changed was 423,802, but the newly so-called updated figure that was handed over to us yesterday was a little over 399,000. We would study those figures, and if there are questions therein, we will raise the same. But our position is simple. This one can readily be corrected because of the shadow of the registration. It spans a period, a duration. Unlike an election that is scheduled for a day, can you imagine that on an election day, a constituency where a sitting member of parliament has won or has lost, the alternative has been declared, and subsequently, 30 minutes later, the EC calls that it was in an error. But one who also say mean, that during the piloting, we had issues, but those issues are not resurfacing. I mean, um, now that we are having the actual registration, so these could be errors, and going forward they may be or will be rectifying those errors. So it doesn't mean that we are going to have the same errors come 2020 December elections. These are all technical issues. <laughs> These are issues that has to do with statistics and figures. And the same statistics and figures are applicable on the day of election. And that is the difficulty we have. Now, can you imagine that somebody else has been called victorious where ideally he had lost and subsequently called back that you lost, your colleague had won? It would have been chaotic. That is a kind of system we are trying to avert. They should shadow their things properly, meticulously to avert some of these. They are very unnecessary and highly avoidable. And one wants to believe that that confidence is restored because once an error was made known to the EC, it's been rectified. The confidence is restored. I'm surprised about your exceptional determination to refer oh, to no, what no, we... I just want to what understand you... your own intuition your that as to whether the, 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 the confidence is restored. It is your choice of word of error. And certainly so, that the I error... Mean, that, that is exactly what the Electoral Commission so says. So I'm just using the language of the Electoral okay. Commission now that they said it was an error which has been rectified. So the belief is that when it has been recti rectified, then the, the, the confidence is restored. I just want to find out the from confidence, him. confidence, it is not an event, it is a process. They should take steps so that we can have confidence in them. The onus lies exclusively on them to take steps for us to have confidence.